it's very interesting to understand a little bit more about the world of hacking. I heard you're the hacking expert on Motorola Solutions. <laughs> Can I say that? I spoke to Richard Bennett actually not such a long time ago. Um, we talked about the pager. We did. We talked yes. about such a pager. So, so, so that's not new anymore? Not new anymore. <laughs> Although it has been released not such a long time ago. Now it's all about Dimetro Express. Yes, so Dimetro Express, our new system launched today, our new single site Tetra system. Single site Tetra system for smaller locations. Smaller uh, locations, yeah. And the beauty of the system is it's all in one box. Okay. Then the question, how fast can you deploy that box? So in less than 15 minutes, have the system up and running. I can remember another company started with 30 minutes. It's now down to 15 minutes. I wonder what the next product will be when you're going in about a few years. How soon, how, how soon? How soon? Five minutes if we go to that rate, right, but yeah, who knows? Well, that's great, but that's the box, isn't it? That's the box. So that's an MTS2 base station. Yes. So in that box, we have the switch and the base radio. So you lose a base radio for a switch, so you can have an MTS4 with three base radios and the switch. But because it's in one box, it's so easy to set up. One IP address, so you can plug it into your own server room, connect it to the internet, and then you can use the web application or web browser-based applications, the installation wizard. So that makes everything much more easier. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Which, what we try to do is reduce the complexity of setting up and managing a Tetris system. So once you've got it installed, you can set it up literally in less than 15 minutes using installation But wizard. the market requests kind of thing. Exactly, yeah. We, you know, like we've been doing everything lately, the pager, the 6650, yeah. the SD7000. We've been working with our customers, listening to what the customers say to develop the products and solutions that they want. So it was a driver, you know, things. We want it to be set up simply. We don't want to have to buy a dispatch console. We want it to be really easy to use. We want a web application. So that's exactly what we've done. I tried to open the box, actually, but it's not possible from here, from there. No, it is. It's, it's from the top. Ah. So okay. there you have the core server and the base radio, and that's what it is. So that's all, actually. It's not, it's not much, and I can remember the times when we had these big racks. This, this is kind of interesting to see the development in technology. With that base station, um, there needs to be a very simplified application to, to, to install it, to run it, and to make sure that all the settings are correct. Now, how simple is it to run this application? Yeah. So, so this application, this is our uh, new web-based NM application that we have. And what, what we introduced in WebNM is actually two views on this. So we have a basic view and an advanced view. So the basic view is actually um, what it will show you is all those parameters that absolutely need to be correct in order for the system to be functioning correctly. If we go to the advanced view, and we can actually look at this here, let me take the general here. If we jump and switch the advanced view on, you'll get a number of additional parameters here, which actually 95% of our customers don't need to actually go in and change, but they're there uh, and we make them available for those customers should they need that. Okay, so and what else does it do? Because I see a lot of, I see some statistics reports, so we can print those probably and, 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 and analyze uh, user talk groups. Correct, yeah. So you can just set up the whole system in, in, with one application. Yeah, so the system settings is of course for configuring your system, making sure the system is configured correctly. But we also have in here system health. This is, uh, this is our live uh, monitor, system monitor. So actually PTT on here, you can see some activity starts happening on the graph here. I can PTT a couple of times here. Um, it gives those customers, you could say, that warm, fuzzy feeling that their system is working correctly, right? It's a very simple... Without thing. going to the IT department, asking them to, ask them to run reports uh, on how the system is performing. Exactly. Because that, that was, that was exactly. that's what we used to do. That's right, yeah. exactly. So here we've got, for example, less services here. We've got green. Green's a good color. Green means things are working correctly. We just take a quick look. Everything's green. I'm okay. Um, should that color change, well, okay, then you need to be able to talk to, to some, some guy and find out why this is not working. But it gives you that, 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 that good feeling that things are, things are working well. So actually, nothing can go wrong anymore. Everything is controlled, everything can be measured, no room for mistakes.
Making systems work is one. Make sure that people working is second. It's very interesting to understand a little bit more about the world of hacking. Now we're here at Motorola to keep things secure, but also try to understand how it is to hack systems. Now Paul is telling me all about that, and uh, that's kind of interesting because I heard you're the hacking expert of Motorola Solutions. <laughs> Can I say that, or can I not uh, say that? I wouldn't go that far, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's mildly accurate. I can see those yeah. pictures here. So what happens here? Okay, so what we've got here is a, a live hacking demonstration. And what I'm going to do is, I've got three systems. One, which represents the bad guy, or the hacker, who could be sitting anywhere in the world. I've got a system with out-of-date antivirus, um, out-of-date operating system patches, and I've got one which has been secured with Motorola's security update service. What, so what I'm going to do is okay. I'm, I'm going to set up a remote handler on my attacking system. I'm going to initiate the executable which makes the connection, and then I'm going to show you how easy that was and what I can do with the system from there. Okay, so you're now the hacker, right? I'm the hacker now. Uh, if you take a look at that screen there, as I double-click this, you can see that it's made the remote connection and for all intents and purposes I've got now full administrative access over that system. It's that simple. Now that could represent a link in an email, it could represent a USB stick which has just been plugged into your computer. Either way, it makes the connection and now I've now got full access. So just to show you the, the variety of things that I can do with this is that I can remotely make applications pop up. Um, something a little that is just a notepad, but can you imagine if that is something different? So something a little bit more interesting, I can start a remote key scanner. So on this system now, if you, I can put in my admin username. You can, if you take a look at that one, you can see that I've been able to capture the passwords that has been typed into onto this system. So the applications would be, say, internet banking, Facebook logins, YouTube channel logins. But that's also for these kind of systems, right? Of these these metro systems. Yeah. Everything is IP in our industry. Exactly. Awareness has never been what it is today. So we only need to see examples in the media of high profile exploits and, and breaches, which, as you've just said, it is a computer system which happens amazing. to perform radio functions. It's, it's amazing because until now, actually, all of these systems, all of these secure systems in the world, can I say they were lucky that nothing has happened until now? They are secure. Yeah, I guess that's fair to say. Yeah. yeah. And just, just the simple act of putting antivirus on your system or operating system patches will reduce 95% of these attacks. So Paul, we now know how to hack. We do. How do we prevent hackers? to access our computer then. Okay, so part of our essential services packages has pre-tested security updates, which aims to deliver operating system patches as well as antivirus updates to the Demetra system. That way that you make the commitment to ensure that your system is updated on a regular basis and safeguarded against a lot of the widespread attacks out there. So David, yep. um, that's an opportunity for Motorola to sell the system and to sell the antivirus as well. And, and to make sure the systems are kept, being kept secure. Correct, correct. The, the challenge is it's, you know, the world is an IP world now, people can get access to it. We all secure things as best we can. Um, you know, there is end-to-end -end air encryption for the voice traffic, uh, but it's as important to ensure that yes. the operating systems and the back-end systems are secure. It's like people don't put burglar alarms on their houses until they've been burgled and then they put one in. What we're promoting is think about it in advance, protect yourself in advance of things going wrong, yeah. and we can help with that. When I was talking to Paul Steinberg about two years ago, he already told me that Motorola was transforming from solely a box manufacturer to more services. That, that's really taken off, is it? it? It mostly has. A large proportion of our business now is in the services, the services applications and software space. Um, and the, there's a number of reasons for that. As I already said, you know, it's the applications and the solutions that people want on the infrastructure that are of interest. But second of all, it all gets a lot more complicated. And if it's more complicated, does everyone have the internal expertise they need to be able to run these things? 
they don't, not for everything. And so Motorola is stepping in in that space as well to say, okay, we can help you manage that, which expands the services business. That and that have. is the reason why Motorola is purchasing so many companies who have, value, who have a value added service? Yes, we, we, we're looking out there, as Paul will have said, we look out there and we look at the market to see Intelligence. what adds value to our customers' end-to-end -end capability. What can we offer that helps those public safety or those commercial organizations to drive efficiency to improve security and safety? And then we'll look to acquire or to invest in those. Yes.